good morning tribe just i want to send you just a little bit of encouragement i'm not going to be preaching this morning we don't have any live online uh, meeting but just a short video just to encourage you to um yeah just remind you of who our god is we were looking over the last couple of weeks colossians uh christ in us a hope of glory that christ is the head he's the center he's the fullness of god in bodily form christ is the the fullness of all that we've seen and in him all fullness dwells and he's taken us out of darkness put us into light so we're in christ and there is a tremendous amount a tremendous amount of hope tremendous amount of joy tremendous amount of peace it comes from the revelation of christ in us the hope of glory and and um yeah sorry we're not meeting this morning and uh, next week we'll take a bit of a break from our meetings the church is never closed the church cannot be shut down uh, we must probably could have our faith as uh, you know sidelined or uh, resisted but i want to tell you the church is never ever going to be shut down because jesus said i will build my church and the gates of hell will not overpower it uh, virus won't overpower it governments won't overpower it, his kingdom because he said i will build my ecclesia my called out ones and so that's what we are we are we are the ones that have been chosen by god washed in his blood and we must stay in faith in his goodness in who he is and uh, i want to remind us this morning that uh, he is the one that settles our hearts he's the one that made a covenant with us a covenant that uh, produces an incredible amount of peace and joy and hope within us and uh, if we look around us and we allow all the news and all the things around us to come into our hearts our tribe and friends we, we're going to find ourselves discouraged uh, disheartened disillusioned uh, despondent or you know all the things that we just rob us of any form of hope and any form of joy uh, i want to tell you god we've said this so many times god is not in lockdown he's not waiting for this to be over before he moves he's still moving by his spirit through his sons and daughters and so i want to encourage you uh, even though we're not gathering on a sunday or a tuesday night that you'd respond to the holy spirit that you'd be saying holy spirit what is it that you want me to do we're a church we're a body um and i think in times like this you know when we're not meeting either we can just well great i don't have to do anything or we can realize actually uh, being part of the church is is where we, we show love to one another because the bible does say they will know you are my disciples by your love for one another and so while we're not gathering uh, the best way for us to demonstrate that we are children of God is for our love and the way we love one another. So encourage one another. Um, you know, don't, don't just wait for somebody to do that to you. Be a blessing. Reach out. Pray for somebody. Send an encouraging word. Remind people of the promises of God. All, his, all of his promises are yes and amen. And uh, this morning, I, just, I really want to take just a couple of minutes just to share with you Psalm 27. And uh, an amazing psalm that David penned, just a few scriptures from, or a few verses from Psalm 27. And, uh, and again, friends, our faith is uh, under um, attack. Our faith around trusting God, trusting His Word, trusting His promises. It's amazing that uh, 20 months ago, you know, we would have been trusting for healing. And, and that shouldn't change now. Um, unfortunately, it seems like most people think, well, it's all going to change when an answer comes in the form of a vaccination. And when everybody's now vaccinated, we're going to be fine. And, and then we'll get back to normal. And, and I, I want to say I, I hate that language. I hate it with all of my heart. I, I'm telling you, we, we will be back to normal when our hearts are settled in who God is and who we are in God. And we, we can actually live out of our calling and our identity as sons and daughters. So I want to encourage you. Don't put your faith in anything else but in Jesus. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Let him minister to your heart as, as David. Uh, the title of the psalm in, in the Passion is Fearless Faith. David was surrounded and um, uh, he would, there was an army that was coming against him. And if you know the story of David... Uh, before he became king, he really was being um, attacked. He was being attacked by all sides. He had to run and hide. And, and yet he, he wrote some of the most profound psalms. And, and I want to I remind you that in a time like this, uh, it's not just nice little words. It's not little uh, scriptures that we can just you know, quote. It's, it's scriptures that we anchor our lives in. It's scriptures that we believe with all of our hearts because we honestly believe God. Uh, I saw a video in the week. There's an American preacher that... Uh, he wasn't being political or anything, but he says it's amazing how people respond 
to something they haven't seen. They haven't seen a virus, but when um, politicians or medical practitioners say, oh, you must do this or you must do that, they respond by faith because they believe what those people say. And yet God says to us, don't worry, I'm your healer. And, and somehow we, we, we forget that. And I want to encourage you this morning, don't forget who Jesus is and what he's promised you and I. He's promised us life. He's promised us hope. He's promised us his protection, his divine, glorious protection. He's promised us his presence. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. So, so here's in no ways is God is in lockdown. He's not hiding. He's not waiting for this to be over. God is in you and me. God is moving. The gates of hell will not overpower the kingdom that he's building. So I want to remind you, friends, we are not uh, marking time. The kingdom is advancing because Jesus is advancing. And uh, I want to encourage you, set your heart on him. Set your heart to trust him fully, absolutely fully. Don't listen to all the reports around you. I want to remind you of the spies. They, whose report will you believe? Oh, there's a lot of facts out there. And those facts, friends, are facts. They're true. You can't, you can't deny them. But they're not eternal truth. Those facts are going to change. But God's eternal truth never changes. Ever. He's made a covenant with you and I. He said, I will be your uh, peace. I will be your healer. I will be your shield. I'll be, I'll be the one who loves you forever and forever and forever. And I'll, I'll remind us, tribe and friends... May we can have hope in this time because of that. And it does take a lot to fight off all the information that wants to come in. Yes, what about this? And you know, I heard this. And I want to tell you again, faith comes by hearing the word of God, not by hearing the facts around you that are factual. They're not lies. There's a lot of lies out there and you've got to sift through all of those lies. Let me tell you, there are truckloads of lies that are just being perpetuated uh, that would produce fear and unbelief. But Jesus speaks the truth. His word speaks the truth. His spirit speaks the truth. And you and I let the spirit of truth come and minister into our hearts so that uh, fear is dispelled and faith is established. So let me quickly read this to you. Psalm 27, the passion. Yahweh is my revelation light and the source of my salvation. I fear no one. I'll never turn back and run for you, Yahweh, surround me and protect me. When evil ones come to destroy me, they will be the ones who turn back. My heart will not fear, even if an army arises to attack. I will not be shaken, even if war is imminent. Here's the one thing I crave from Yahweh, the one thing I seek above all else. I want to live with him every moment in his house, beholding the marvelous beauty of Yahweh, filled with awe, delighting in his glory and grace. I want to contemplate in his temple. In the day of trouble, he will treasure me in his shelter under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock, out of reach from all my enemies who surround me. Triumphant now, I'll bring him offerings of praise, singing and shouting with ecstatic joy. Yes, I will sing praises to Yahweh. Hear my cry, show me mercy and send the help I need. I heard your voice in my heart say, come seek my face. My inner being responded, Yahweh, I'm seeking your face with all my heart. So don't turn your face away from me. You're the God of my salvation. How can you reject your servant in anger? You've been my only hope. So don't forsake me now when I need you. Well, I want to tell you just as we close this morning, Man, I read that scripture and I'm so encouraged because David says this, I'll fear no one. I'll fear, even if an army, even if a pandemic, even if a virus comes, I will fear no one. You know why? Because God, he was talking about God. Yahweh was his revelation. Yahweh was his salvation. Well, he does go on to say, Lord, I need you. Uh, please help me. Uh, he, he, he understood his own emotions, but he, he put them in the context of who God was. He didn't let the, the moment of, of what was around him come into his heart. He, he, he actually settled his heart with who God was. And that's why he made a declaration, I will not fear. Why? Because God was with him. And then he said some things that I was so touched with because he says, he says, I want to just be with you. That's what he wants to do. He wants to just be with God. He says, I want to contemplate in your, in your temple. Um, I want to be with you, Yahweh. I think those are such beautiful things in, in all of us, friends. Let's not 
Stop rejoicing in God. Let's not br stop bringing offerings of praise and saying, thank you, God. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for divine power. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your salvation. Friends, that stuff is ours right now because God made the promise. And, and he says, I want to I uh, contemplate your glory. I want to behold your marvelous beauty. In times like this, it's amazing um, all the things that can come in. And, and it's almost like it settles in your heart and my heart. And it makes us weary and wants to tire us down. And we, we forget to contemplate the beauty of Yahweh, of God. And I was challenged by the scripture. And I, was, I just sat in my, my study and I was just saying, God, I want to be able to say like David, I heard your voice in my heart say, come seek my face. My inner being responded, Yahweh, I'm seeking your face with all my heart. I want to tell you, I get tired and busy and distracted that sometimes I'm not doing that. But I hear the Holy Spirit saying, come and seek my face. And, and we can say, yes, Lord, we're going to seek your face in the midst of all of this craziness. See, David wasn't, wasn't in a palace here. He wasn't in a place of peace. Uh, he wasn't in a place of comfort. He was, he was seeing some of the, uh, you know, just the crimes of, of, of war against him. An innocent man just having to flee. Seeing the brutality of, of, of all of that around him. The, the injustice. He, he saw that. And he said, Lord, I'm going to fear nothing. Even if an army comes, I'm not going to fear. Why? Because you are with me. So can I encourage you, tribe? Yeah, we, we're not meeting today in person. I, I hate that. Um, obviously, I uh, want to honor uh, the, the government, totally disagree with them, uh, totally don't agree with the nar narrative that's being spoken, but the church is not going to get closed. You and I are not going to be stopped by anybody if we continue in faith, trusting God. And so I want to encourage you, I want to encourage your heart this morning by the Spirit with the scriptures that, that would bring life to you. And uh, don't let the narratives and the words of others that are facts come in and set the tone of your heart. I want to encourage you, allow the word, allow the Holy Spirit. That's why David says, just said this, I want, to, I want to live in your house. Wow, we've got the promise in Colossians that God is in us. So we don't have to go to a house. He's in us. He dwells in us by His Spirit. Christ, the King of glory, lives in you and me as believers. And so I want to encourage you this morning, drive. Man, be, be strong in the Lord. Choose this morning with David. I will fear nothing. And, and let's keep trusting God's word. Don't trust something we haven't seen. And whenever uh, doctors or, or people say stuff, well, we, well, listen to what they said. No, listen to what God said. God is our healer. God is our protector. He's the one who shed his blood for you and I. So I want to pray for you that you and I will have wisdom in this time. That our hearts will be settled in him. And absolutely overwhelmed by his glory. So the Lord bless you. And uh, look forward to seeing you. Honestly needs. If you need prayer. Just reach out to Jane and I. With a WhatsApp or a Telegram. And we're going to love to pray for you. We're going to try and keep reaching out as we can. and uh, In the midst of all of this. Um, so while we can't meet. Uh, we're just going to take a break. A break just to refresh in him. To realign. To enjoy just his goodness. Uh, so enter into his presence with thanksgiving, bring him praise and say, thank you, God, that uh, you surround me. So the Lord bless you. Thanks for taking time to watch us. And we look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, yeah, I love you lots. Keep praying for our nation. Keep praying for each other and uh, trust God for his great miracle of deliverance. Bless you guys. We speak to you soon.